Hello my friend, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming and my channel I usually do a lot of vlog videos, lifestyle, food review, grocery haul videos. Previously in my vlogs, I actually reviewed that I am pregnant. Yay! I hope this one is healthy and safe because this is my rainbow baby. So just a little bit background, I did have a miscarriage three months ago. So this is actually the third month of complete cycle that we tried. So we succeeded. So in today's video, I want to share with you my two week wait symptoms. In the past two cycles that we tried for babies, I've been watching, binge watching these two week wait symptoms. So I hope to help you out if you're also trying to conceive. I have my notes right here with my phone and just also letting you know just because I have these symptoms and not having some certain symptoms doesn't mean you'll have the exact same symptoms. Everyone is super different. So ever since I had a miscarriage, I started using a ovulation strip, like an ovulation predictor kit to predict my ovulation, thanks to my sister-in-law who taught me this. Previously, when I tried for my first baby, I actually didn't use anything to track just because my cycle is usually very, very predictable. It's always 28 days, sometimes 26 to 27. Usually you will ovulate on cycle day 14, which is 14 days after the first day of your period. Most of the times, I actually ovulate earlier than cycle day 14 and that's why my cycle is always like one day short or two days short because sometimes I ovulate on cycle day 13, sometimes I ovulate on cycle day 12. So for the last cycle where I actually got pregnant, I actually ovulate late. Instead of ovulating on cycle day 14, I actually ovulated on cycle day 16. When you take the ovulation strip, you it will predict that you will ovulate in the next 12 to 36 hours. But because I wear my Fitbit, I bought the Fitbit Premium just because we are trying to conceive this year to track my body temperature with my Fitbit. This is not as accurate as if you just like orally take your body temperature with a specific thermometer. But I, from a past experience, my Fitbit is good enough. So my ovulation predictor strip was positive on my cycle day 16, which is way later than my normal ovulation. I think there's a reason why it was a little bit late. And then on cycle day 17 in the morning when I woke up, my Fitbit showed that my body temperature, my basal body temperature actually rise, which means that I probably ovulated right after like I had a positive prediction on my strip so I probably ovulated in between cycle days 16 and 17 which is pretty late for me. The ovulation date, let's just date it as August 31st, the last day of August. Right. So now let's talk about my symptoms after the ovulation date, date by date. So um, usually around ovulation, I feel really, 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 really tired. I always wanted to take a nap and I always have like lower back pain and stuff. So of course I started having like lower back pains and stuff. Weak weight symptoms, so by DPO. DPO means days past ovulation. So one day past ovulation is September 1st. So one DPO, I felt tired and sleepy, and that's mainly because of the progesterone release during the ovulation, so that's pretty normal. Two DPO, I have no symptoms because, like, basically, like, the progesterone from the ovulation pretty much just alleviated. It just, I felt pretty myself, I felt really, really good. And then on three day DPO, three day past ovulation, I did feel like a little bit sore breast, very subtle very 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 subtle but i usually don't have this symptom even when i'm on period so i felt like maybe that was a sign but according to research you shouldn't be feeling that so i don't know why i just felt like a little bit of like breast tenderness for dpo i actually have a lot a lot of symptoms the first symptom is lower back pain. So I remember it was kind of fun. So we were taking a walk and we were trying to deliver some food to my husband's mom's house. And then my husband suddenly said like, I want to pee. And then he started running and then I started chasing him. But I just felt like when I was chasing him, my right pelvic floor just started to have like a very like pinch of like shooting pain, but not like very, very hard. It's not like an injury, but it felt like injury. It's like a pinch on my right pelvic floor and my right side lower back. And then I was telling my mother-in-law like, oh my gosh, I hurt my lower back when I was trying to chase Brandon because I was like, oh. And then I just couldn't walk fast that day because we were taking a walk. So I had to walk really slow because I felt like, oh my gosh, I probably strain my right lower back and strain my right pelvic floor but now that i thought about it it was like very out of nowhere it's just suddenly like a pinch right here not just in the front not just in the back it's like entire right side lower back lower ab it's like feeling like pinch and it lasted for about like 10 to 20 minutes it wasn't long and slowly it just released and i also felt a little bit more breast tenderness 
which I think is also one of the symptoms of hormones and stuff. That day, and I also felt like a little bit of cramps in my lower back like at night. And then I was telling Brandon, I think this month is our month. And then my husband was like, what if like, you know, you're just imagining it. You're just symptom spotting. You watched too many of those two week wait videos and stuff like that. And I felt like maybe, but in the past two months, I didn't feel that way. But like I was telling Brandon like, this month is the month I can feel it. I can feel it happening. I started from 3DPO, I felt like the tenderness and then I already think that like maybe this month is the month but for DPO is the time I felt like this month is the month maybe the maybe the baby is traveling so basically after your egg is fertilized you will travel from your fallopian tube all the way to your uterus to implant there and the implantation may takes a while it's not like just one latch you will actually like start to like eat into your uterine lining so basically a cell is eating into your uterine lining and try to implant there so I felt like for DPO it was when it was traveling and starting the implantation on 5 DPO I felt breast tenderness anxious and very happy so that was a Monday so 5 DPO I woke up feeling very anxious I don't know why I just felt like my heart rate was a little bit high and I felt like very 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 anxious but then I suddenly have this like very weird sense of gratitude it's like oh i'm so grateful that the universe is giving me good health and god is giving me a baby i because i'm a yoga teacher like right we always practice like gratitude all the time and trying to make make connections to yourself to your body to the universe all the good positive vibes and yoga but then on monday it was the weirdest thing it was like I suddenly just felt like very, 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 very grateful. And I just felt like, oh, thank the universe for giving me a healthy baby. Thank you for giving me good health. Um, I feel super abundant. And I felt like, well, look, like I have a, like, you know, a very good living situation. I love my house. I have a lot of abundant food. I just feel, I just feel very blessed. I don't know why. It's like, very weird i woke up very anxious and around the noon time i just suddenly feel like this huge sense of gratitude and that's on 5 dpo and i still have my breast tenderness but that was my only physical symptom but the other symptom was like i felt like my heart rate was a little bit high and that's kind of caused my anxious my anxiety but even though i felt a little bit anxious i like just out of nowhere like enormous gratitude and then i was telling my husband i was telling brandon like i felt like this month is a month because i can feel a sense of gratitude like thanking god giving me this very healthy baby and I just don't know why like it was only 5 DPO and according to research you the implantation usually happens between 6 DPO and 12 DPO so according to research like it's very rare that you implant in 5 DPO but I had the feeling that I actually implanted early on 5 DPO but it's just out of nowhere it's like channeling a message from universe that you're blessed with a baby so on 5 dpo i was positive that i am pregnant it's like the weirdest thing i don't feel like i felt felt that last time when i was pregnant but last pregnancy was my first ever pregnancy 6 dpo was very and eventful nothing happened on that tuesday nothing happened on that tuesday i did notice that on tuesday night i started to pee a lot so on tuesday that day i actually teach a zoom class and it's a graduate level class and we meet on zoom and it's two and a half hours and in between i had to tell everyone to take a break because i had to go pee i just had this urge that i really had to pee but usually i can hold it for like an hour i don't have to pee every 30 minutes but like i think starting from like 35 minutes 40 minutes i just had to pee at on 6 dpo and then i had to like tell everyone hey let's take a three minute break in the evening i started to pee a lot and that was usually my first sign of pregnancy but back then i didn't know what it was i was like maybe i was hydrating myself too much because i like to drink a lot of water and if i drink any other drinks like if i drink other beverages i will make sure that i drink some water the same equivalent because i always felt like other beverages they also like it's a burden for my body to process nothing as, as clear as water and then seven dpo i actually had a lot of symptoms it was a wednesday i woke up with all my fingers swollen like like sausages my face was all puffy my legs were swollen my feet are puffy like my entire body is just like a lot of water retention 
first thing in the morning on 7 DPO. And I also like had to pee a lot. So on when, that Wednesday, I actually had a job interview. So I drove 35 minutes there. I had to use the restroom before going to the interview. And after the interview, the interview was like 35 minutes. I wanted to use the bathroom again, but then the boss actually walked me to the elevator. So I didn't have the opportunity to use the bathroom. So I drove to my husband's office and we were gonna eat lunch. I was like, no, I have to use the bathroom first. And then 45 minutes later, I had to use the bathroom again. And then I had to use the bathroom again. So on Wednesday, it was really two main symptoms. The first one is swelling, body swelling and bloating. It's like a lot of my entire body is just all puffed up. And then the second symptom is also frequency of urination. That was 7 DPO. So on 7 DPO, I already pretty suspicious that I was pregnant because in my previous pregnancy, the biggest telltale sign for me personally was the swollen fingers and puffy face and then like my legs and everything is all puffy. I, a lot of people talk about bloating like right here, like in digestions, constip constipations and stuff. Usually for me, it's more of the water retention. My fingers were all swollen like sausages. And then like when you press into the legs, it's like super like lower body edema type of thing. Um, ADPO, I felt bloated swelling a lot of edema a lot of water retention and I felt very very tired mood is a little bit annoyed and then the biggest telltale sign on 8 DPO is hot flushes uh, so I remember that was a Thursday and then when my husband was leaving the house in the morning and I was telling my husband like I think I'm pregnant because my fingers are sw still swollen and I didn't eat any like too much salt the night before I don't know why my fingers are swollen and my husband gave me a hug before he left for work and he was like girl you're like back is super super hot so basically my back was like extremely hot like burning hot and then like I felt very very hot also and then he was like maybe you are pregnant because like your body feels like burning hot and he did say that like the night of 7 DPO I kicked my blankets open because usually when I'm pregnant I feel hot my body temperature rises I just like I don't like blankets when I sleep I just like when I'm sleeping I was just like a oh, blankets go away so that was also a telltale sign that I'm gonna get pregnant because usually around this time I usually feel cold and I usually I'm, I'm a person who always feel cold and my body always is cool to touch 8 DPO I felt super 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 hot and my fingers and feet are swollen I felt very very tired and I also had this like a little bit irritated mood of annoyingness another big symptom that I forgot to share in this video was actually brain fog so on ADPO I was replying an email it was actually I heard back from the interview that I did really really well and I was sending the boss some contact and stuff like that and you know what I kept the <laughs> most important information from the email. I don't know why. It's like the it's like the mistake I would never make. And it felt like that day, my brain just couldn't think. I couldn't say the correct words when I talk. It's just like, it felt like my brain was a mush. And that was also a symptom when I was pregnant last time. On 9 DPO is actually the first day that I actually tested positive on pregnancy test. So on 8 DPO in the morning, I actually tested myself with the cheapy strip from Amazon. Those are super cheap, like $10 for 20 or something. And it was actually negative on 8 DPO. But on Friday, I woke up. The first thing I did was to take the test because there was another symptom on 8 DPO night was vivid dreams and and this is a telltale sign for me that i had a dream of zombies uh and i had a dream of looking for bathrooms and trying to pee while zombie was attacking me or like going by trying to hunt me and it was this very similar dreams that i had like in my previous previous pregnancy so when was when i was pregnant last time i had a dream that i used a bathroom without like the door and then there was a zombie walking into the bathroom it's a public bathroom and the zombie was walking like this and then me and my cousin was in there and we were in there I was like oh my gosh there's a zombie but I really had to pee like in my dream I was like no matter what happened I have to try to pee but I just couldn't this time at 8 DPO at night I had the same exact dream of a lot of zombies attacking the 
the city and then we were trying to like run but then i was like no i have to pee again no i really have to pee and my friends were like oh, you have to go and there were zombies peeking into the bathroom windows and stuff like that and i was like no i actually have to pee and that was a telltale sign because you know that's another thing frequency of urination so i took the amazon shipping that it's like it's too early to use that chippy, but then when I did it, it was like a very faint shadow of the second line. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a shadow there. There was a shadow there. And then like my husband was like, maybe there's a shadow, but I don't I don't believe it. So I took a first response and I saw a faint light. I was like, yay! I saw a faint light. And my husband was like, it's too faint. And this is only 9 DPO, which means it was like actually six days before missed period it's actually the earliest of the earliest you can test with first response and it was a very faint line and it was only 9 dpo and my husband was in disbelief but i was like no i i i'm sure i'm pregnant because you know on that day i felt really really hot and how i felt my fingers were swollen i felt really really hot and my heart rate was a little bit high because uh, when you're pregnant there's an increase in the blood flow in your body so that's why you get swollen that's why you have like a lot of like higher heart rate higher resting heart rate and i felt a little bit like out of breath on friday so night dpo is like vivid dreams from last night and swollen fingers uh feeling super hot and having like shortness of breath and feeling that like my heart rate was really high and i was just like so over the moon i was like i'm pregnant like not only have the pregnancy test i also felt all of the symptoms so 10 dpo in the morning i took another test and it was amazon chippy and you can vi visually see the second line and it's darker than the first time than 9 dpo and i also had frequency of urination i had back pain and i had a lot of cramps in my lower pelvic area like cramps like ugh, like i felt like my uterus felt very full and I felt very tired and I felt like it's very hard for me to catch my breath. So I, I actually, I think we went to my mother-in-law's house to help her with something. And then I show her the picture and she's like, oh my gosh. And I was like, uh, I'm going to take it again the next day. She's like, send me the pictures. I was like, no, I need to take it again the next day. Um, so my pregnancy symptoms stay the same at 10 DPO compared to 9 DPO. And for 11 DPO, I took another uh, chippy test and then first response my chippy test was way darker like you can clearly see the line progression and the format first response it was super super clear that i'm pregnant like that was 11 day dpo that's still like several days before my missed period i felt like that's still like four days before my missed period but it was way darker that you can clearly know you're pregnant so that's 11 day dpo it's a very 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 strong line and then 12 dpo um i felt super stressed and anxious because i had like an insurance mishap i just felt very very moody and i felt very emotional and just mainly like stress irritated moody like i think those are my like biggest symptoms um and other than that it's frequency of urination and also starting from 9 dpo i i think starting from friday night and saturday night and sunday night i woke up in the middle of the night between like two to 4 a.m sometimes twice sometimes once just to pee and then i had to wake up a lot so i haven't been able to sleep much because i have to wake up and pee so a 12 beat dpo other in addition to the previous symptoms like feeling hot and stuff one of the biggest symptoms is like i felt like moody i felt like stressed so 13 dpo i felt shortness of breath you know when i talk to the camera like this i just I have a hard time catching my breath and I felt like my heart rate has gone up by a lot. My resting heart rate used to be 60 or lower, but now it's like 73, 74 and it was just raised after like, you know, 10, 11 DPO. It's like, it just feels like my pelvic area, it feels fuller and stuff. And then I think 14 DPO, I think starting this day, I felt like my pants felt, my shorts felt a little bit tight. 
um, especially around my waistband area and I think it's because of the bloating and a lot of I think it's also the water retention I have a hard time walking fast um, when I take walks with my husband I think uh, around this day I just told my husband I was like I can't catch up you're walking too fast I can't walk uphill because it's too steep for this I used to work out like three to four hours a day I'm super super in shape and fit but ever since I'm pregnant it's just hard for me to catch my breath and I feel like I can't run or walk fast because my pelvic area my ligaments are maybe started to relax I feel more tight around my joints and I also feel like lower back pain if I sit for two ever since then I um, keep a lot of the symptoms like a shortness of breath and also another symptoms I had is that I cannot stand for a long time anymore but then I just felt like I can't stand for a long time it felt like my calves my legs feel very very heavy it's like someone poured the concrete to my lower body like I always try to lay down or put my legs up even when I sit for a long time I felt my lower body is just like all swollen and stuff okay I feel tired <laughs> even just from filming this video I used to film like three videos back to back to back when I have time but now I just have like a hard time just to stay stay awake and stay like talking in one video so, yeah those are my two week weight symptoms this time I'm very hopeful because like last time when I had a miscarriage I ovulated super early but it implanted very late because like I only started to have symptoms very later on usually if you implant early you have symptoms early on if you implant late then you have symptoms later on so if you implant early of course you can have an early pregnancy test up to like 8 dpo but if you implant late of course you won't be able to you know detect until like the embryo implants in the uterine line ever since the miscarriage I basically waited for a month for like a natural period to come back and then I went back to acupuncture and I could feel that I had like I can feel some like body difference ever since I did the acupuncture and um, I felt like it helped me a lot to regulate my hormones and also I felt like this month I ovulated late which a Allow the egg to mature more I think and also it plants it implants early so I found actually found a research study peer-reviewed research study that earlier implantation is associated with less likelihood of miscarriage late implantation is associated with higher likelihood of miscarriage this doesn't mean that if you implant on the day 12 you're gonna have a miscarriage it's just it's all likelihood it's all association so the fact that I felt like this time I implants early Early gives me hope and yeah that's it for today's video if you have any questions please comment down below maybe I'll make a follow-up videos of this I'm currently feeling very tired so I'm gonna lay down to rest a little bit drink a little bit of water hydrate and thank you so much for watching this video and tag along this journey with us and thank you so much for the enormous support from my YouTube family thank you thank you if this is the first time you're on my channel make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell and I hope to see you soon bye